life's kind of getting out of control. I think. I don't know if you agree. Do you hear me that, Astro? You know, it's like, it's like what it is, is you, I know you heard the word a thousand times. It's a rat race. You know, I went through the contortions of hell. I have alcoholic seizures. Wind up in the hospital and everything else. Now I'm sick. I'm shaking like a leaf. That's me. The same year I got this baby. The Panasonic PV430 full size digital video cassette recorder. A week after I got it, I started shooting everything I could think of to make it pay for itself and allow me to buy more gear. Corporate videos, real estate videos, talent shows, retirement parties, instructional videos, and yes, weddings. Here's the thing though. I didn't drop 1,800 clams at Circuit City to produce a video scrapbook of Tammy and Brad's matrimonial merger. I had bigger plans. I wanted to make movies. My movies. I caught the movie making virus when I was 12. That's when my brother permanently borrowed this Bell & Howell Autoload 308 Super 8 film camera from our uncle. When we found out it had the capability to capture single frames with a shutter release cable, we were off to the races. By the time 1989 rolled around, the price of the average consumer camcorder was within reach. I was 20 years old, making decent money as a graphic artist, and living rent-free at home. So I started buying gear. Lots of gear. When I wasn't at work or school, I was making videos. Lucky for me, I had a clutch of faithful friends who were always willing to hop in front of the camera, so the shooting never stopped. Long, hot summer days are just around the corner. Now's the time to get that Tango pool you've always wanted. Eventually, all of this goofing off led to a career in advertising, where things got a lot more serious. I hired on to a production company in 1991, where I shot TV commercials and music videos, corporate videos, home video, you name it. Stand by, Dick Donnelly, take one. Coming through in 92. Good I liked my job. It was challenging and exciting and fun sometimes dangerous. Thrilling as it was, it, it was still a job where I was doing other people's work. I've never felt truly fulfilled unless I'm doing something on the side, something I want to do. So after getting married and having children, much of that energy went into videos of the family. From baby videos to family vacations, everything seemed to turn into a production of one kind or another. Fast forward to now. I'm 52 and still making videos been doing it since 91 and I can honestly say it's a blast. I'm so lucky to be able to do this for a living. The thing is I'm still doing other people's work and since I've never felt truly fulfilled unless I'm working on a side project I'm almost always working on a side project. So here is Motion Mofo, a place where I can collect whatever might fit into that category and share it with whoever might find it interesting. <laughs> 